Hey fam, welcome back. Today I thought we would go ahead and shop my stash. I have been using these products for a few weeks now, but before we do that, I wanted to go ahead and go over these products with you guys, give you guys some reviews and some thoughts on the stuff that I did try, and then we'll go ahead and pick out some new products. So here's our first drawer. I'm gonna be keeping quite a few things in here. So I have the Skin Fix Lip Balm. This is the Natural Lemon Mint. This is a balm I've been using for a while now. I just wanna finish it up. I have a drawer with the kind of odds and ends in it. And I have a whole bunch of lip balms in there. So I wanted to just focus on this one so I can use it up and then pull in another balm. So there's still a bit left in here. I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm also almost finished with my Verso Super Eye Serum. I have like this little tiny bit at the bottom and then we'll be pulling in a new eye cream, but I'm gonna keep this in my stash for now till it's used up. I also did finish up my last Avant moisturizer. So I pulled this new one in. This is my favorite with the jojoba oil. I absolutely adore this product. So this is just my normal moisturizer. I'm gonna hang on to that. I also have this Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Serum. And I'm almost finished with this. You can see there's just a little tiny bit left at the bottom. I do have a backup bottle of this Farsali from my dear friend, Jackie Naturals. Definitely check her out. I will leave her link in the description box below. She kindly gifted me a bottle of this. So I figured since I have two of them, I would work on finishing up the one that I have and then we'll pull in another serum. I also have this L'Oreal True Match Lumique Lotion. I was actually working on finishing this up. It is almost gone. Like this looks like there's some in there, but there's really not. Most of it's kind of down here at the bottom. I don't necessarily need to use this up. I kind of was working on using it up because I have a couple of primers like this that just add some glow. But I might switch this out for something else. We'll see. I don't reach for it with every single application, but it's really nice if I have like a more matte foundation to just add this or put this on as a first layer. And I've really been enjoying using it, but I'm not necessarily in a rush to use it all the way up. So I may pull this from my stash. The next product is this Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This is to energize and rescue your skin. It's silicone free. This is basically just a moisturizing primer. So I'm gonna hang on to this one until I use it up. I have so many primers that I'm just trying to pan a bunch of them or finish a bunch up. And so I'm gonna leave this in my stash for now. Okay, next we have the Bite Changemaker Foundation. Now I put this in my stash to try it out because I was kind of sure I didn't really care for it. I had tried it before and I thought it was like really dry or something on my skin and I had never really tried it again. So I made a point of pulling it so I could get some thoughts on it. Now, while I don't hate this foundation like I thought I did, it's still not my favorite. I like that it's moisturizing. It's not in any way matte. I don't know why I thought it looked really dry on my skin before. Maybe I just didn't do very good skin prep when I used it the last time, but this is super glowy. This is the product that I was wearing in my Dollar Tree and TJ Maxx haul, as well as my Sephora haul. I think it looks very natural on the skin. It's not like the best filming foundation because it really doesn't do much for your skin in terms of like hiding any imperfections. I don't think it looks the greatest, but it doesn't look bad. I think this is more of a, if you enjoy a no makeup makeup look, this could be a good foundation. If you've got really beautiful, perfect skin that doesn't need any real coverage, you might really like this product. It's, it is very glowy almost a little bit like greasy looking kind of. So I, if you have oily skin, I would say far away from this, unless you set it with like a mattifying primer and go with a lot of powder, you may like it. I'm not sure I don't have oily skin, but if it was as oily as it was on my skin, I can't imagine with oily skin. I would not repurchase this 100% because I do think it's a very high maintenance foundation. It does like tend to wear off the tip of my nose. It doesn't provide a ton of coverage. It does get a little bit oily. I don't love it. I don't, but it's not something that I hate so much that I'll never reach for. So I am glad that I tried it, but I'm gonna be pulling this from my stash. So next I have this Dior foundation. This little guy has been my favorite foundation that I pulled out of my shop, my stash. I basically pulled this because it's a little bit darker for me. It's 2W, which at the time I bought this, I really just wanted this foundation and the two neutral was out of stock. So it tends to be a little bit olivey on me, but if I mix this with a foundation that's a little too light for me, it's really great. I mix it a lot with my Luminous Silk Foundation, which tends to be a little bit too light for me and can be a little matte for my skin. But pairing it with a Dior Face and Body, I thought that I got a much better color for my skin and I liked the way the foundation wore all together a whole lot better. So I think this is a good combination. You can see I have made some progress on this little guy. I wore this combination in my BoxyCharm video and a few others, but that one I can think of off the top of my head. So you can kind of see the difference in coverage and in the way that my face looks between these guys versus the Bite Changemaker Foundation. Big, big difference. And then this is from Iconic Beauty. This is the blur stick. I have made so much progress on this that I didn't even realize. I tried to screw it all the way down and to see how much 
I had used up of this product and I am making some good progress. So I'm gonna leave this one in here for another cycle and try to keep working on it. I have a bunch of different pore filling primers that I would like to bring in, but I've just really been enjoying this little stick. It's pretty akin to the Milk Makeup Blur stick, if you have that, and it smells really good. This smells like, it's like maybe like creme brulee or something. It's got a really nice like dessert smell. And then the last product for this drawer is this one here by St. Ives. This is a lip scrub, Juicy Watermelon. It's not my favorite lip scrub. The formula of this is not the most emollient. It's a little, I mean, it's supposed to be gritty, but I don't know, I don't love this. So I'm just trying to work on this to use it up. And I'm gonna keep this in my stash to make some more progress on it. So for our next drawer, I did put in these two MAC lipsticks. I'm gonna pull these, and I'm gonna pull the Huda's. These are both formulas that I know and love, and I just kind of pulled in the colors as I needed them. These are just little mini Huda Beauty lippies. She has a really nice lipstick formula. I really enjoy her lippies. And obviously MAC is a cult classic formula. Love this one as well. And I used Yash and Kinda Sexy, I think. Yeah. So these are just different lippy colors that I pulled to get some more use out of my bullet lipsticks. And then I think everything else in here is gonna stay. These are just kind of project pan items. And then this is my glitter primer, a brush switch, some mascaras and such. Oh, I can pull out this Peony lip gloss as well. I did use this a lot of times with my Kaja Sweetheart lippy. I only use like one mascara at a time. I'm using the Total Temptation by Maybelline. I use the Urban Decay Perversion for my lower lashes. It's just a little mini. There's a brow pencil in here by Billion Dollar Brow that I'm working on using up. So it's just basically like a bunch of products I'm working on using up and they'll move to my empties. So this drawer can pretty much stay as it is. In our third drawer, we've got the Becca Hydramus Set Refresh Powder, which I'm still working on using up. There's like barely anything left. I'm so excited about the progress in that one. I'm gonna pull out the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. It's gotten a little messy in the powder <laughs> drawer. This is a great primer. I don't find this as sticky as the e.l.f. It's this one, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This is my favorite, 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 favorite sticky primer. I love this. It keeps all of those foundations that slip and slide all over the place or wear off stuck to your face where they belong. <laughs> love this stuff. I have, this is one of two backups. I've already finished one of these. And I was hoping the all nighter would be kind of that sort of gripping face primer. I didn't find it that gripping, but it was good. I like wouldn't knock it at all, but I definitely wouldn't repurchase this one over the elf jelly pop, which I love. So I'm happy with it, but um, it's not, it's not as gripping as I'm hoping for. So I'm going to pull this one out too. Next, I did try the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. This is their Ultra Creamy Concealer, their brand new creamy version of Shape Tape. I did like this. I think it's a good product, but it did seem to not necessarily crease, but like sunk into my lines a little bit. It kind of accentuated my under eyes a little bit, not terribly. And I think if I mix this with the Glow Wand, it would work really well. I like mixing the Tarte Shape Tape with the Tarte Glow Wand. Um, just to get it a more hydrating formula. And I think if I mix this with the glow wand, I would like it better, but I used it a couple times. It's pretty good. That's a decent concealer. It's not like my favorite concealer, but it's not one like I hate and want to throw away like immediately. It's not bad. I just, when I smile, I tend to see the crinkles, but when I stop smiling, it's not creasing, if that makes any sense. And I don't always notice that with other concealers. So I hope that was a good description. It's kind of hard to describe, but yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't run out to repurchase this, but I'm not sad that I bought it. I'm glad I tried it. I also have a couple more lippies that I will be pulling out of my stash to pull new ones. I've got the Persona Gloss. I did wear this over, I think, kind of sexy. Um, the Sweetheart one I've been wearing a ton. This is the one that's actually my current giveaway, the Airheart, Kaja Airheart in Sweetheart. So that's what I wore when you saw like pink lips. And this one here by Pat McGrath. I love this formula, it's beautiful, and it just made a nice topper over like bullet lipstick. So I enjoyed all of these products. I think they're all really great formulas. Then my Kiki W Beauty Under Eye Brighten Powder in shade two will stay. This is a Project Pan as well as my Stila Illuminating Powder Foundation Compact. These are both just Project Pan items, as well as this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. I'm almost finished this product. Made a little bit of progress on that. I talked to you guys about this Natasha Denona concealer in my chatty get ready with me about why I decided to go plant-based. I think as long as you just use a tiny little bit of this product and you blend it right away, it's a pretty decent concealer. Um, it's not the most full coverage concealer that ever existed, but it's not like super creasy or drying on my eyes personally. So I, I like it, I would reach for this again. I don't know that I would repurchase it because it's not like a favorite, but it's not bad and I enjoyed using it. 
This concealer by Tristique is just one I received in a boxy charm. It's a little bit too deep for me. So I like to use this to clean up my brows. It's just something I'm trying to use up. This little potion primer is pretty much almost gone. I can maybe get like the tiniest little bit out of it. It looks like there's like some up here, but there's really not. It's like mostly air. This is like so almost empty. So I'm excited that I used that up. And this I'm still working on the, the bomb priming is everything. There's only a little bit left in here, but it's kind of drying out. So this may end up getting tossed before it gets finished, unfortunately. But yes, yeah, so the rest of this I think can stay in here and let's move on to the next drawer. For the last drawer, we have the Jaclyn highlighter in the shade Lit. This is a new release from Jaclyn Hills brand and I love this highlighter. It's super pretty. It looks absolutely wet on the skin. It's gorgeous. And uh, yeah, no regrets about this one. Love this product, definitely recommend. I also tried the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. Definitely used her a bunch this week. I've heard this compared to the Chanel cream formula. I'm sorry, that's so gross, like brush hairs and stuff. But yeah, I really enjoyed this product. It was very nice. I think you really need just a tiny little bit and it really spreads and it's a beautiful tone. And then I also had this Lorac blush in the shade Prism. This is beautiful. I absolutely love Lorac's blushes. I think they've got a gorgeous formula. Very soft, a very silky formula. I think this is really pretty. And then we have my shade and light that I'm working on and the setting spray and my little fan. So these guys will stay, everything else will go. So hopping over into palettes, we have, well, we have this little butter bronzer first. <laughs> it's not really a palette, but I did love this. I'm gonna pull this and pull something different, but this is absolutely one of my favorite bronzers of all time. High-end, drugstore, luxury, whatever. This one, this one takes the cake, he's so great. I got a bunch of use out of the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow palette. She is a beauty. I used all four shades quite a few times. I really liked using the blush as well, even this dark blush, just a little tiny bit goes a long way. The highlighter I got a lot of use out of, this powder one right here. I used that a whole bunch. And yes, yeah, it's a gorgeous palette, super glad I pulled it. I also got to use the Jungle Lights palette quite a bit. I used these two shades in my, why well, I decided to go plant-based, that green look. And then I used this light purple shade in my Sephora haul, as well as my Dollar Tree and TJ Maxx haul video. So I definitely used a couple of these shades. I finally did create a date night look with my Sweet Talk palette. I didn't take a picture of this though, but I'm gonna try for the next stash to take more pictures, even if I'm not filming, if I use something, just so that I can show you guys when I'm going over the palettes, I can like insert a little picture right over here or something like that of what I looked like in the eyeshadow. This is a really pretty peachy palette and you can create so many beautiful looks with this little guy. I also got to use the Mel Thompson Tiny Marbles palette. These were the mattes that I used in the Sephora video and the Dollar Tree and TG Maxx video. Those like pretty soft purples you saw. I used Love Bug. I used Jewel Bee. You can see I used Flutterby. Kind of went in on that one. I used Marvel and I think Meadowhawk different times during my stash. Bugaboo I used, that kind of pretty red shade. So yeah, I really enjoyed using this palette. It's beautiful. Cindy Grace has a great formula, beautiful shimmers, great mattes. So I enjoyed this. It was fun. And I love pairing this with my Jungle Lights palette. Then we had the Nomad Tokyo Harajuku palette. Love this one. This one I used in my giveaway video, actually. I think I used that um, Aku shade, this pink one, I think. Decora. I used both. But I used these shades with my giveaway look with the Sweet Chop palette the pink and purple one, which I think was like cotton candy. So I liked using this palette with that one. I think these are so pretty. I almost am tempted to keep this in for another week, but I think we have a lot of palettes to get through before spring is over and it is almost gonna be June very soon. So let's go ahead and pull some new palettes. I also did use the Feral palette. I did a video with this one. That was my get ready with me, why I decided to go plant-based. She is an absolute beauty. I used Alpha, um, Canis Lupus. I used H Huchera. I used Ivy, I used Fenris, and I really enjoyed this palette. I'd like to keep playing with this one too, but like I said, I have a lot of palettes to get through, so we're gonna put this back for now, since we got a chance to play with it. Pastel Pup, I don't think I did get to play with yet. As I talked about in my Shop My Stash, the last one, I did customize my own palette with this. I replaced the black and white at the bottom where it says Saddleback and Whiskers. I took those shades out. You can remove magnetically these little pans from Menagerie palettes, which I think is great. I replaced them with Turtle and Bunny from Menagerie's single collection. So I like this palette a lot better now. I just need to actually use it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it in my stash for the next rotation. 
Natasha Denona Love palette I did actually get to use. I didn't film with this palette, though I do have a video on my channel where I did create a look with it, but I didn't film recently with this one. I just wore it for a pretty look. I tried that Dream Shade, which is one of her Cream de Matte formulas. I can always say Cream de Matte, Cream de Powder. Dream is one of her Cream de Powder formulas, and I used that along with Pure Love. I remember I pulled that one in too. And I think I mixed this maybe with the Tiny Marvels palette as well. I can't recall, but it was like a date night look. So this was really pretty too. Then I had the OPV Beauty Born to Shine blush palette. And this one I think I got pretty good use out of. I used the orange blush for one look. I used that pretty unstoppable hot pink for the BoxyCharm video. This one was in the, I keep wanting to call it the veggie video. <laughs> the Get Ready With Me Why I decided to go plant-based. I used that. Um, and then I also used light, this pretty pink in the middle for another like kind of pink toned look. I think that was like a date night look or something. I don't think I filmed with the pink. But yeah, I used like three of these blush shades for three different looks and uh, I really love this formula. It's definitely looks intimidating to look at it, but these are definitely more on the buildable side, which is nice. You're not gonna get like band pigment the second you reach into it. You can build them up, but you can get band pigment out of these if you kind of layer them a little bit. Really, really like it. I love that it's buildable because these are such vibrant shades and I love that they can be soft as well. So they really do work for a variety of skin tones, which I appreciate from OPV Beauty. Then we have the Glam Light Ice Cream Palette. This was actually the palette that I used for my, what was that? Oh, the BoxyCharm video. I started out with Pumpkin, this orange shade in like the inner corner, and then I moved on to Red Velvet, and then I graded it into Raspberry, and then I went to the outer corner with Black Cherry, and did a little Black Cherry under the lid. And I think I buffed it out with like um, Red Velvet and Pumpkin. And then for my lid, I used Rainbow Sherbet. So that was a really pretty look. And I love that it was like more poppy and bright and fun. So this is a beautiful palette. I'm tempted to keep it in for another round, but we've got a lot to get through. The Norvina palette, I only tapped into, I think for the one shade, I think I only used Soul, that periwinkle. I think that was basically it. So I'm gonna keep this in for another round because I didn't get very good use out of it. Next we have the Ofra X Samantha March Life's a Draft palette. I did reach into a couple of these little single shades. I don't recall exactly which ones you can see. I was playing in that mauve one, but I know I also reached into here for the face tones as well. I think mainly that highlighter I used a few times. It's really, really beautiful. Then we have the Cotton Candy palette from BH. This palette is gorgeous. This is the palette I was wearing in my giveaway video. I love this. I think it's beautiful and super fun to play with. I had a lot of fun with this little palette. Next, we have the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. I also got some pretty good use out of this one. I used that cream blush in the center. I used this pretty, more like lavender gold highlight. And I also used this really pretty diamond powder highlight. These are just beautiful. I think I might have even used this one. But I ne definitely used these two, and I definitely used that. But I'm going to put this one back and pull some new ones. And then the last palette I had in my stash was the Pat McGrath celestial divinity palette i did not have an opportunity to use this palette even though it was the one i wanted to use the most and it's because i cannot get over myself i see pat mcgrath and i everything about me is just like oh my gosh this is too beautiful this should be for special occasions and i special occasion is today man life is short so i'm keeping this in for another round and we are going to use this in the coming weeks so that is everything from my current stash and let's go ahead and pull some new products okay, okay so let's start with primers whoa I have my drawers pulled out a little bit so I get to the blush drawer and it's always like unstable and I do that. Okay, so I have a couple new primers in this drawer and we also took out the glowing primer from L'Oreal. This is actually one I recently picked up in Boxy Pop-Up. This is the Elemis Superfood Glowing Priming Moisturizer. I think I wanna try this one. And then let's also pull the Touch and Soul Primer, the Icy Sherbet Primer, because we got this in Boxy Charm and I haven't tried it, so I'll try that one. And then I also want to pull a sticky primer. And I think I have one in here by NYX. Oh my gosh, y'all, so I just found these in my drawer when I pulled out that little egg carton of blending eggs. It's because I also picked this up from Sephora and I completely forgot to haul it in my Sephora video. This is a concealer from Surratt. It's a Surreal Skin Concealer. This was actually another product I picked up from Sephora and I cannot believe I forgot to haul this. I'm actually gonna pull this just for fun, we'll see what it's about. And um, this one was on clearance and I got the 20% off the clearance or sale price. So it was a good deal. And I've never tried anything from Surratt before. So I got those concealers out of the way. Um, these are my drugstore concealers. I got the high end out of the way so I can get back to my primers. And I have in here one by NYX. Yeah, this is the Honey Do Me Up primer. I think this is supposed to be gripping, I hope. I think of like honey as sticky, so. I'm gonna pull this guy for a primer as well, and those will be our primer for this week. 
Okay, getting back to concealers. I know we're gonna try the Surratt one and we have the one to Project Pan, but I wanna grab another one. And I'm tempted to grab the Charlotte Tilbury because look, that one's almost finished too. Let's grab, um, let's grab this Kylie one. I wanted to try Kim's as well because I haven't tried this in forever. So I'm gonna grab out Kim's concealer as well. So let's just do a little Kardashian Jenner situation. Next, if we move into foundations, let's grab out this Givenchy Prism Libra Skin Caring Glow Foundation. I have not tried this. This is a relatively new foundation, so I'll grab him. And then let me also try the NARS. I know Iris was curious about this foundation, so I'm gonna grab this one too. This is one I just got from Sephora in the Sephora VIB sale. Now that we have base on, let's move into blush because this whole cabinet is like, whoa off kilter so I can open up this drawer so it clears that towel rack and then I can push it back in once we've picked our blushes okay so we've got quite a variety I want to grab some cream and some powder so one I think I want to try is I've been thinking about this one for a little bit this one from Holika Holika this is the jelly dough blusher this is in this little kind of like corally apricot shade maybe one of these Lila B's I think be sassy is pink so we could try that one. It's like kind of a loud color. I wouldn't normally pull for that. So it's good to, that I am pulling for it now. Let's also grab this blush palette here from NARS. This is one I have not used in quite some time. And this is what this blush palette looks like. I just need to start using some stuff I haven't used for a while. So pull him. Let's also pull the Patrick Tosh, he's so LA. You know what, maybe one of these guys would be good to pull. Let's pull this Juicy Pang blusher. I think this is Fig. It's kind of like a pretty peachy shade. And let's also pull out this Maybelline. This is the Cheek Heat in, I think it's like Nude Heat, Nude Burn. So we'll pull him too. I'm also tempted to pull Tom Ford. So let's just get that out of the way. And this is what this one looks like. It's got a highlighter on top and a blush on the bottom. I think it's really pretty. Our next category is highlight. And again, I wanna to try to pull some stuff I don't always pull for. Let's do one of these Artist Couture loose highlighters. We'll do Illuminati. It's really pretty kind of like champagne -y color. Let's also pull, I wanna pull my March Beauty Word highlight. This is super pretty. It's got Pillow Talk and Star Island. Pull him. Let's also pull, I feel like I haven't used this one in a while. This is my bron Bronze Goddess. No, what is this called? Yeah, it is Bronze Goddess. The Heat Wave highlighter. This is really pretty from Estee Lauder. Also, let's pull this Stila one because I have been wanting to use this. This is kind of like a creamy highlighter. It's in the shade Brilliance. It's kind of like a gel or cream highlighter. Really, really pretty. Then moving into bronzer, I'd like to pull a powder and a cream. So we already spent some time using the Milk bronzer, the, the Tarte bronzer. Let's pull the Patrick Ta, the new one, of course. Pull that guy. Let's pull this Lara Mercier in the shade Ritual. This is one I recently found at TJ Maxx. And I looked and apparently this was like a huge thing six years ago. I'd never heard of it, but now I get to try it. And it's got like some pink in it, so it's like a blushing bronzer. So it sounded like an interesting product. I definitely wanna try this one. Let's pull Kylie, cause I don't think I've ever used this. So let's let's give it some use. And let's pull one more cream. Who do we have to play with back there? Let's pull this Tower 28 bronzer. This is the Bronzino in West Coast. So pull him. Oh, and I completely forgot. This was another BoxyCharm pop-up. Order I place, this is the Creme Shop and these are some cream contours, I wanna pull that. And then I also wanted to use my Cheekbone Beauty products, which are somewhere in here. So I have this little face palette from Cheekbone Beauty. It's got a bronzer and it's got like two highlighters in it. And then moving back into my highlighter drawer, I also wanna pull this one from Cheekbone. This is a, I think like a blush and highlighting palette. Oh, and it broke. Okay, so I'm gonna have to repress that. There are some pretty like blushes and highlighters and stuff in here. I can't believe that broke. It makes me so sad, but um, I will fix that. I will fix it and it will be all better. Okay, now let's move into palettes. Oh, these drawers are crazy. Okay, we're gonna grab the Vivid Rose palette. We pulled this last week, but I didn't have space for it. I'm also gonna pull this 
Pat McGrath little quad. We'll go over that in a second. Um, spring, 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 spring. It's really pretty, but I feel like I've worn this a couple times. I wanted to pull out some of these palettes, not these guys. These are just moving Adam away. I wanted to grab these guys again. These are the Berry Royal and the Vintage Rose. And I wanted to pull the It's Freaking Bats palette. And let's grab Butterfly Kisses. And let's also grab Love Looks Beauty. This is the Something Gorgeous palette. And we will wait on this one. I don't want to pull too many at once. That is really pretty though. Yeah, let's pull him too. The heck with it. Okay, I know that was a lot, but this is my favorite drawer, so understandable. Moving into our second drawer, I definitely want to pull the Sweetheart palette that we got from Tri Beauty Box. I had wanted to play with this. I am going to pull um, Lilac because we didn't have space to use this one last time. I'm kind of tempted to pull Marvelous Moms. Let's pull this too. I wanted to play with the Nabla Dreamy palette, but I don't know if it's perfect for this time of year. This one is so beautiful. And then I did say I wanted to pull out this palette because I don't know, I haven't used this like ever really, or it's been like years. So I thought I should pull this as well. It's kind of a springtime palette and see if I want to keep it. And maybe I'll pull Nabla Coral as well because I know I wanted to play with this last time. This is the Nabla Coral Cutie. It's so pretty. I'm having one of those days where I want like to pull everything. And then down here, this is like the craziest drawer of all of them, I think. Um... Or anything i've been really wanting to play with this hip top but i think this is more summer i usually like blue and green in the summertime so this one is beautiful but it's not very spring i don't think it's super pretty so yeah maybe i'll wait for summer for that one i do kind of want to play with this palette this might be a little too summery as well the aurora lights palette that's essentially what it looks like so i think i'll pull this one too I did recently do a video with this palette, but I kind of want to pull it again. This one is super pretty. But I don't I don't know. I did just use this one. I don't use my ColourPop palettes nearly enough. I did just pull the Sweet Shop. Not Sweet Shop. A sweet Talk. But I do have this Flutterby palette that I made myself with like my pink and purple shades from the little nine pans. So I think I might pull him too, just for something different. And I think that's literally plenty. I mean, that's insane. I already pulled so many palettes. It's just wild. The bottom drawer of my little cabinet is basically just brow products and some like eye things and mascaras. But I did want to pull out my Cheekbone Beauty brow product. I want to try, like I want to do a video dedicated to Cheekbone Beauty because they are an indigenous indie brand in Canada. And I am indigenous. If you guys didn't know, I'm part Cherokee. So I freaking love seeing... An indigenous brand. I just saw it. Here we go. So this is just like a little brow gel, like a little brow mascara. I do want to try to get some more use out of my singles, but I'm feeling a little overwhelmed at the moment. So I think I'm going to hold off. So let's go ahead and close that. So I have this massive pile of mess on the floor. Let's go ahead and pull out the cheekbone beauty products I know I have, which are these guys. I've got like a pink and like a grayish a lipstick too. So pull them. And then I did want to pull a face palette because I haven't gone into this drawer in a hot minute. Um, I think I'll pull out this Jouer Macaroon palette. I bought this and then swatched it and never used it. So we'll play with him so we get some use out of our face palettes. Powder we're good on. I'm trying to pan those couple powders. We have some singles up here that I want to pull. I want to get some more use out of these guys. So let, oh my gosh, I just remembered those two ColourPop blushes. One sec. I mentioned in my haul video that I wanted to pull these two cream super shock blushes from ColourPop in birthday suit and prenup. So I have those, I just grabbed them out of my blush drawer. <laughs> Let's get back to singles though. I, I rarely ever reach for my single shadows, the, not single shadows, but these like potted shadows. So I wanted to pull some of these guys. Um, let's pull these tart ones 
and let's also pull this one. I think this is in like taupe, Aurora taupe. So we'll pull that. I figured like we can maybe use some pigments and play around with some stuff. Oh, is this the rose gold one? Yeah, let's also pull out this rose gold one as well. Persian rose. And our last category is lips. So let's pull some lippies. I haven't used my Catsy Lou's in a bit. Let's pull these two glosses because I love them. They're beautiful and fabulous. Let's pull this ColourPop. I always use these Lorac ones. I haven't used these Il Maquillage glosses in forever. So maybe I should pull this like lavender one. It's like really pretty sparkly. Maybe I'll pull that. I think that's what I'll do for glosses. Let's grab, I think I have white Russian in here somewhere. Let's pull um, white Russian from Buxom. For liquid lipsticks, let's just grab out these two color pop in Times Square and something else. Um, Fuego. Let's also pull this Ofra Flexi Stick. I haven't worn this in forever. I think this is in slush. Yeah. So we'll just grab this too. And then we have some bullets. Um, I have those cheekbone ones. Should we maybe pull this one from Prop of Beauty and Finesse? It's kind of like an orangey shade. So maybe it'll give us some variety. And then the other one I've been thinking of a lot is from Fenty. It's one of these, this guy in Turks and Caicos. He's like a greeny blue. That will be fun to play with as well. So this is our new top drawer. We've got the two new foundations that we've added and everything else is the same. In our second drawer, I've added the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer as well as the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I've also added our Cheekbone Beauty Brow Mascara. In the third drawer, I've added the three concealers we pulled, the KKW, the Kylie, and then the little Surratt there is underneath. I also put in the cream blushes that we chose out and that should be our third drawer. Then in our fourth drawer, I just added a bunch of our lippies on top of the KVD um, cream contour palette and the setting spray and such. So that completes our drawers. Right. Pulled out this little acrylic organizer since I'm not using it in my drawer anymore and I figured we could use this for my stash. So we have the Artist Couture Loose Highlighter in Illuminati. We have our Laura Mercier bronzer in Ritual. We have our little Tower 28 Bronzino. We have our Ofra and Samantha March collab in the At March Beauty Word Highlighter. We have this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Heat Wave Highlighter. We have our Patrick Taub Bronzing Duo. We have our Tom Ford Highlight and Blush. We have our little Stila Highlighter in Brilliance. We have our Patrick Ta in She's So LA. And we have our Kylie Bronzer as well. Okay, so to add to our palettes from last week, I'm gonna add the Berry Royal palette from Clarity Cosmetics. This palette is absolutely beautiful and it looks really pretty paired with the Vintage and Vivid Rose palettes from Give Me Glow. I'm also going to add the Vintage Rose palette from Give Me Glow. She is a stunner and flowers are very much a spring theme, super pretty. And then of course we have Vivid Rose as well. She is a beauty. Next we have the Aurora Lights palette. I've had this for forever and I have barely touched it so I definitely wanna play with this one. This whole palette's fairly like shimmery. They're just different textures. There's like three different formulas in each row. Um, so I think this would be really pretty to play with and maybe even with that Pat McGrath palette. I also feel super inspired by this Sweetheart palette from Lorella. We got this in the Tri Beauty box. This palette is so stinking beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this. These shimmers are just sending me. They're so pretty. Let's also pull the Dreamy 2 palette. I'm not gonna have room for all of these, but I'm gonna pull them all anyway, I think. <laughs> because I really wanna play with all of these palettes. I feel super inspired today. I don't know, maybe it's Mother's Day and having a really beautiful day with my mom and sister, but I'm in such a good mood. And I really just wanna play with everything. She isn't super springy, but she's a little bit neutral and I don't have any other neutral palettes. And I love those pretty like periwinkle blues, purpley shades, this gorgeous coral shade. These cream formulas are so beautiful and I just wanna play with this. I also wanna pull the Butterfly Kisses from Copacetic Cosmetics. I do have a video on this on my channel, but I wanna play with it again. I've only played with it that one time and it's so pretty. This is the Butterfly Kisses palette. There's a lot of really cool textures and formulas in here that will be fun to play with. I definitely wanna pull the Beauty and X Shroud. It's freaking Bats palette. I think this one is super beautiful. And even if it is a little spooky and Halloween-y, I think it's also really pretty for spring. 
And I did get a question in my last um, Shop My Stash about why I pull so many palettes. It's because I actually like to mix and match the palette. So I might take like a couple shades from this one and mix it with another palette and just create a look from that. I find that really inspiring and fun. So that's why I pull a lot of eyeshadow palettes for the pretty shades. I also have the Something Gorgeous palette from Love Lux Beauty. This is what she looks like. And while this one might be a little bit more summer than spring, it's so pretty and I cannot wait to play with it. We also have the Lush Lavender palette from Love Lux Beauty. It's kind of messy, but the textured shimmer is so pretty. So I'm going to pull this guy. Next, we have the Nabla Coral Cutie palette. This palette is beautiful and very springtime appropriate. We have the Flutterby palette, which is my own little kind of creation. But I wanted to downsize a bit, so I actually picked like my favorite shades from the It's My Pleasure palette, I Like You A Lot, and the Ooh La La palette. So this is kind of like a pinky purple palette that I created and I wanna play with this one. I also have the Venus 3 palette that I picked up, I think back in like 2019. And I don't know that I've ever even made a look with this. I might've done like one look ever. And so I wanna sort of test this out and see if I wanna hang on to it. It's a really pretty color store and I think it'd be nice for spring, but I think I just haven't reached for it because it's not that colorful, but it's colorful enough. So I just, I wanna test this out more. I do like Lime Crime's formula. And I don't reach for their palettes enough, but every time I do, I really enjoy them. So I'm going to give this one a try. I also pulled in my Marvelous Mauves from Dose of Colors. She's kind of plain, but I was inspired to pull this palette because I was looking back over my BoxyCharm playlist. And I saw a look I created with this palette that was really pretty. I forgot how beautiful this was. It looks really pinky and kind of boring in the palette, but on my eyes, it looked much more lavender and really beautiful. So I'm excited to play with this one. Then we have the Pastel Lilac palette from Huda Beauty. She is very pretty and I think perfect for spring. And then last but most certainly not least, I have the Blitz Astral Quad in Nocturnal Nirvana from Pat McGrath. This palette is gorgeous and it's just special shades. So I think this would be so, so pretty with so many of the palettes that we pulled, including that little pastel pup palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. We have a few products left. We've got the four eyeshadows that I pulled out from Tarte and from Touch and Soul. So I'm gonna put these with the eyeshadows. I pulled out these two shadow sticks from Ciate London. This purple one is beautiful and this white one I just want to get more use out of. It's not as great as the purple but the purple is beautiful. I also wanted to pull this Dragon Beauty lavender um, color corrector to see if I can use this on some dark spots, see if it works. We've got the primer from Touch and Soul. We've got some extra lippies from Il Maquillage, Buxom, and My Cheekbone Beauties that I want to do that video on. And then I'm going to try to shove these face palettes in as well. Once again, we have the NARS palette. This is the Exposed Cheek Palette. It's also got a little highlighter. I have my two Cheekbone Beauty palettes. I've got that guy that has some like finishing powders and bronzer. And then this one has, I think, that's my little smushed highlighter. She's so pretty though. And that blush and the other little highlighter. So I'm super excited to play with these. I have the Creme Shop Cream Contour Palette. This is the 123 Smile Light Palette. And this is what she looks like. I've never tried anything from the Creme Shop before, so I'm really excited to give this a try. And then last but certainly not least, we have the Jouer Champagne and Macaroons Sweet Cheeks Palette. And this has a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlight. And we went over the Touch and Soul colors, but for Tarte, I pulled Wild at Heart and Unleashed. Here's my little foot. Hi. So that is our super extra AF stash for this week. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Y'all are out here in these streets doing the most and I am so grateful for it. Props to all y'all. I'm super excited to play with these products. I hope y'all are excited to see some looks in some upcoming videos. I know I am. And I just wanna thank you all so much for being here with me today. I love you all so much. And until the next video, bye bye